Marshall goes back probably 10, 15 years now, closer to 15 years. For us, Marshall has sort of always been a brand that we've played, wanted to play, and for playing sort of rock music like we do, um, it was always sort of the first thought. to the factory for the first ever time. Yeah, which was, I think, overwhelming when you're like 15, 16 years of age and you're walking into this prestigious factory that is Marshall and the heritage behind it. And mm. we're sitting there being like newbies walking in and being like, I hope we don't look like idiots. Yeah, I, I remember being really nervous actually because obviously like we had the tour of the museum and you see all these like amazing amps and like historic pieces. And then you go into like the live room and there's just a stage with stacks and stacks and stacks of martial amps. And I just remember thinking, oh God, I've got to play something here. <laughs> yeah. and, um, Am I worthy of being played on Yeah, it's pretty right daunting now. sort of 15, 16 years old. Um, you know, to be that young and have a company like Marshall wanting to support our band, it's like, it kind of gave us the belief. It's like, oh, we can go and do something like this. We can play a big branded company like Marshall behind us. You it was know. almost like a seal of approval, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do it. Over the years we've developed, and I, I think the first ever Marshall head I had was a DSL 2000. And yeah. I think you were, what, 800 or 900? Yeah, I think my first, first ever Marshall I owned personally was a JCM 900 and then an 800 probably a month or two after that because I was just hooked. <laughs> <laughs> using the um, Vintage Studio Plexi amp. And I was using the Studio Jubilee. You were. For such small little low watt amps and like small cabs, the sound that comes out of these things is insane. And um, yeah, for me, it, it just felt really natural, really nice. And um, it did everything that you'd want from a Plexi, basically. Like um, we've had the pleasure of using like vintage Plexis and a lot of old school amps in the studio sort of around the world and um, yeah, it really, really cuts it. It was great and I uh, really enjoyed playing through it. For me, it was the first time ever playing on a Jubilee. So today that was really cool just to kind of pick up my guitar and not know what to expect and plug it in and go, it rips straight away. And if I wanted to have a little bit of a clean sound, I just roll the volume down a little bit and maybe a little bit of the tone as well. Yeah, and really then, responsive. Yeah, it's yeah. really responsive and that's, I think, the simplicity factor of that is so great just because as a guitar player, sometimes you can get inundated with too much. And for me, it was just so responsive and very enjoyable. Like I said, you've got that distortion overdrive sound that you want without any pedals in front of it. It was just guitar, lead, and. Lead. 